this video, we're talking about adding mixed measures. And when we talk about measures, we mean measurements, whether it's measurements of time, like hours, minutes, and seconds, whether it's measurements of distance, like yards, feet, inches, it could even be miles or meters, or if it's measurements of weight, like grams or pounds, whatever it is, we're talking about measurements and mixed measurements. So in these problems, we need to add together a time of hours, minutes, and seconds. So this is a mixed measure, and we have two of them that we need to add together to find total time. So it's just a simple concept about how to do this. It's very similar to a regular addition problem where we start on the right hand side here. We're going to add seconds first. And then if we have anything to carry over, we're going to carry it over to minutes. And then if we have anything to carry over, we'll carry it over to hours to get our final time. So two hours, 40 minutes and 35 seconds plus one hour, 45 minutes and 50 seconds. What's the total time? Well, we start with seconds and we know that 35 plus 50 is 85. So we would get 85 here but we know that there's only 60 seconds in a minute. So 60 seconds in a minute tells us that 85 seconds is one minute and 25 seconds. So we don't wanna just say 85 seconds, we'd wanna say one minute and 25 seconds. So the way that we're going to figure that out mathematically, we're gonna subtract 60 seconds, which is 60 seconds in a minute. And when we do 85 minus 60, we're gonna get 25. Since 25 is less than 60, we can go ahead and say 25 seconds. So we have 25 seconds, but we subtracted the 60 out, which was a minute. So we have to carry that minute over to our minutes column. So we'll put that up here, one minute. Then we add this together here. One plus 40 plus 45 is gonna be 86. So we get 86, but we know that there's only 60 minutes in an hour. So we need to subtract 60, and when we subtract 60 minutes, that's the same thing as an hour, we have to add an hour back in over here. We have to carry it over. 86 minus 60 gives us 26, so 26 minutes because 26 is less than 60. In other words, less than an hour, we can call this minutes. So we have 26 minutes. Then we just add our hours together. So one plus two plus one is four. So we get four hours. So we can say four hours, 26 minutes, and 25 seconds is the total time. So you notice how when we added our seconds together, if we had a minute and some seconds, we took that minute away and brought it over here into this minute column. When we added our minutes together, if we had an hour and some minutes, then we brought that hour into the hour column and only listed the minutes here. So let's look at a similar example with distance. Here we have one yard, two feet, and seven inches, plus two yards, two feet, and eight inches. What's the total distance? Well, we're gonna start on the right with inches here. 7 plus 8 is 15, so we get 15 inches. But we know that there are 12 inches in a foot, so we have to subtract out 12, and then we're going to add over here 1 foot, because 12 inches is equal to 1 foot, and we're taking a foot out of here. So 15 minus 12 gives us 3, so we can say 3 inches. Now we add up our feet, and we say 1 plus 2 plus 2 is 5 but we know that there are three feet in a yard. So we need to take out three feet here and add a yard over here. Five minus three gives us two, so we end up with two feet. Then over here we say one plus one plus two is four, so we have four yards. So four yards, two feet, and three inches is the total distance, and that's how you deal with addition of mixed measures.